So what exactly are websites? It's pretty simple. A website is just a bunch of HTML pages, a bunch of web pages connected together. I'm going to show you how to connect these pages together using a special HTML tag. But for now, let's set up our very first website. The first thing you want to do is create a folder on your desktop. Why on your desktop? It's just an easy place to find your website files. So I'm going to create the folder right on my Windows desktop. And I'm going to call the site my, my website. Now, this is okay. We could call it my website, my, you notice there's a space here, my space website. Now, for creating a folder on our desktop, there's no problem with that. But when you get into real serious web coding, having spaces in your file names, whether they be folder names, whether they be your HTML page names, is not a good idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a dash. That is a much better name because if you don't have a dash or you don't have, you have a space rather, like this, it could cause problems for you. So you don't, you either have no space like this, or you put a dash, or maybe you can put an underscore, whatever you prefer, but whatever you do, no spaces. It just trust me, it's going to make your life easier. Now that we got our website folder created, let's pop it open. And I'm going to create a new folder in there. I'm going to call it images. And yep, I'm going to put our images in this folder just so it's organized. You don't have to, but it's a good place to organize all your images. Of course, these are the images that are going to go into your websites. So now let's pop open the code editor. And you remember our code here. Let me just clean this up a little bit. And I'm going to save as. And I'm going to go to our desktop. Here's my website. And I'm going to save it as index.html because it's going to be the very first web page in our website. Let me save this. And there you go. So let me close this up. We go back to, there it is, index.html. And we're going to put images in the images folder because we want to put some images in our website. But that's only one page. A website is many HTML pages. So let's, uh, let's create another HTML page. I'm going to open up the text editor again. I'm going to say file save as. Save as allows me to save the file under a different name. And what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this, let's say I want to set up a, I don't know, personal diary, like a private Facebook website for yourself. Maybe you don't want to have your information out on Facebook for everybody to see. So we're going to set up a private little website you can create for yourself. So you can put all your own personal information on, on your own site. Nobody else will be able to see it, but maybe that's what you want to do. So I'm going to call this page, my friends. Okay. Now maybe I should spell friends properly. You notice I use a dash here and you notice the page name, the name of my HTML page tells me something about the page. So what am I telling you here? I'm saying that in this HTML page, I'm going to have information about my friends. So I'll save that. 